Base. Stop record windows down. Welcome back to another basic JAWS tutorial. Today I'm going to show you with JAWS 17 inside of Windows 10, um, the most recent uh, Windows update. And I'm also going to be using Outlook, uh, Microsoft Outlook 2016. And I'm going to show you how to send an attachment as well as save an attachment. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I am calendar left there. inside of Outlook, but I'm in my calendar. So I'm going to hit Control-1 to get back to my email. Inbox dash black All right, now I'm inside of my inbox. And I'm going to hit Control-N as in November to create a new message. Control-N, untitled dash message left there in HTML. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send this message Kay. to myself. And I only typed a little bit of my email because I've sent an email to myself before. So all I'm going to do from here is hit tab. Black, tab, black Walter, zero, eight, Gmail. And it puts me on the email I want. So it is selected now. So I'm going to hit tab again. Tab, CC edit, type in text, tab, subject edit. Type. And I come to subject, I'm just going to type testing. Testing, tab, message, edit. And I'm inside the message field now. And I'm going to leave that blank. And from here... I'm going to insert an attachment from my desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Alt key to get to my ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon. Now what I want to do is right arrow one time. Insert tab. You hear insert. If you down arrow one time. Menu, lower ribbon, insert group box, include group box, attach file, dot, dot. You hear attach file, ellipsis, or dot, dot, dot. You hit enter on this. Enter. Leaving menus 2017-12-0120-5. I'm going to stop JAWS and I'm going to read the current line. 2017-12-0120-53-19.mp4. Okay, so what this is doing is whenever in, in the Outlook 2016, when you insert an attachment, it shows you your most recent file you have created or um, edited. So, I want a file from the desktop. So, what you want to do from here is you want to hit Shift Tab. Shift Tab, Menu, Browse This PC. And you should hear Browse This PC. You want to hit Enter on that. Enter. Leaving menus, Insert File Dial. Okay, now we're inside of an insert box that is very familiar, I'm sure. Um, it is, you know, how it used to be. It would go straight to this. So from here, I'm going to hit Shift Tab. Shift Tab. Name split. Shift Tab. Not selected. Advanced scripting. Okay. I'm Shift Tab. Home. Control Post. Three view documents. And now I'm inside of my my file explorer, um, or my different folders and files. So from here, I'm going to hit D for document or desktop. D downloads. D desktop left parent pin. D D documents. D desktop closed. So I'm going to hit Enter on desktop. Enter. And what that does is it opens it below, so I'm going to hit tab. Tab, not selected Adobe Acrobat tonight. And now I'm in inside of my desktop. And from here, I'm looking for a file called testing. T, not selected testing.html, testing.html. Okay, testing.html. And I'm going to hit, it is selected now. I'm going to hit enter on it. Enter. Message, edit. Now, I'm back in my message inside of Outlook and to check and see if your attachment is in your email you hit shift tab shift tab testing.html 454 bytes one and you can hear that it's right here and now I'm going to use the key command alt s to send this email alt s inbox dash black zero eight okay and that is how you send an attachment now I'm going to show you how to open an attachment or actually uh, do a save as so um, you heard the email come in and I'm going to read my current line. LinkedIn notification. I'm gonna hit home to get to the top of my inbox. Home unread attachment key testing. Not okay I can hear that I have an unread message of this attachment. I'm gonna hit enter on this. Enter. Message from colon key okay, less black order zero eight. It should open up in another window and now I'm inside of my message. Um, from here you want to uh, hit shift tab 
Shift tab. Testing dot HTML five hundred forty five bytes one to one attachment. Okay, as soon as you hit Shift tab, it puts you inside of where the attachment is going to be located when you after you open the message. So here I'm going to make sure I'm going to read the current line. Testing dot HTML five hundred forty five bytes one to one attachments. Use Alt plus down arrow to open the options menu button. Okay, it is selected. So from here you want to hit, if you're on a laptop without an applications key, you want to hit Shift F10. I have an applications key, I'm gonna, so I'm going to hit application. Applications, menu to move through items, press up or down. Puts me in a menu, I'm going to read current line. Preview. It says preview, which means that I can open it and just look at it. Open, oh. I can actually open it. Quick print R. I can quickly print it. Save as S. I can save it as something. Save all attachments dot dot dot. I can actually save all attachments that may be located here. Upload sub menu U. I can upload it. Remove attachment. Upload remove attachment. I can v. remove it. Copy C. I can copy. Select all L. And I can select them all. Preview P. Open O. Now we're back to the top preview of the list of preview. We want to find save as. Open. Quick print. Save as S. Enter. I'm going to hit enter on that. Leaving menus, save attachment, dialog, file name, colon, edit, combo. Okay, and we come to a dialog box now to where we want to name it. And I'm going to read current line. Testing.html. And I'm going to leave it as that name. From here, I'm going to shift, shift tab because I want to place it back on the desktop. Shift tab, edit, type of shift tab, advanced script, shift tab, preview, documents closed. Okay, I'm back in my folders and files. I'm going to hit D for desktop. D, download, D, desktop, D, D, document, D, desktop, close. Okay, enter. hit enter on desktop. I'm going to tab now. Tab, items, view, list box, read only to move to an... And I'm inside of my... Java. Uh, all of my files and folders on my desktop. From here, I'm going to hit Alt S. Alt S. Java 9 slash 20. Actually, you want to make sure. Let me tab to the tab, name. Names, now. Tab, file name, colon, edit, combo, testing.html. Okay, it's still the same name. Shift tab, shift tab, Java, Java 9. Let me unselect this. To unselect the item that you are on, you want to hit control space. Control space. Read current line. Java 9 slash 29 slash 20. Adobe Act Control Space. Adobe Acrobat 9 slash 5 slash 2017. Alt S. Adobe Acrobat 9 slash 5. Sure. Shift tab. Three one second, guys. This happens. I don't want to leave these errors out because if it happens to you, you would know how to get through it. Desktop closed. Enter. I'm going to hit enter. Desktop, on my desktop closed. Again. Tab. Adobe Acrobat. And to move to an I item, press the arrow key. Adobe I'm Acrobat. Alt S. Alt -S. And it's still tab, just name, split, tab, file name, colon, edit, combo, testing, dot, h, testing, dot, tab, save as type, colon, tab, tab, tools, tab, leaving menus, save button, save button. We went down to the save button. I'm going to hit enter on it. Enter. Save button. Okay, it's not let me. So I tell you what we'll do is we'll hit escape. Escape. Testing, dot, HTML. And we will try again. Testing, dot, HTML, 545 bytes, one, of testing, dot, HTML, 500. Right, applications key. Applications, menu. Down arrow to save as. Open. Quick. Save. Save. Save as. Save all. Save as. Hit enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Save attachment dialog. File name. Call testing. .htm. Okay. That's our file name. We want to shift tab. Shift tab. Shift tab. Advanced shift tab. Preview. Close. Now I'm going to go to desktop. D. Download. D. Desktop. D. Download. D. D. Desktop. Close. I'm going to hit enter on it. Enter. This time I'm just going to hit alt s. To save, and let's see what happens. All test confirm save as dialog. Okay. Testing .html already exists. Okay, it's telling me that it already exists, which I know that, and I do want to override it. No button. Tab. Yes button. So I'm going to hit yes. Enter. Testing .html file. Okay, and there you have it, guys and girls. That is how you create and send an attachment inside of Outlook 2016, as well as open and save an attachment inside of 2016 uh, outlook 2016 now like i said about the when we had a little bit of trouble with the saving it um i i want to leave these this in there because that will be uh, i run into stuff like that all the time so 
it's nice to to know how to get out of something like that. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know and uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Alt tab, inbox, alt tab, ops 20.2.